you there? Good morning. Actually, it's 12 noon exactly, basically. I just stayed at the uh, Marina Hotel. I forgot to show my room, but uh, right down the uh, street there. Just 38 bucks a night. Nice little room, double bed, attached bathroom, everything you need for a good price. So, there is a lot to cover in this video. First, I will just mention, I am walking in the direction of Monastiraki Square here in Athens and the Parthenon. I have done this walk before. I have made videos of this walk before, but uh, this is the walk that I'm doing to get to a metro station. There is a closer one, but I wanted to make this video walking through the city, give a little taste of Athens before I catch my flight to Sofia, Bulgaria in about five hours. The uh, flight departs. Got to get out to the airport. It is an hour's metro ride away, which will be just nine euros or ten dollars. So I uh, flew here yesterday from Ikaria Island. That flight was ninety dollars, including luggage, taxes, everything. There was no luggage charge for my backpack here. Rush hour traffic or just generally bad traffic here in Athens. One thing I will mention, people will often complain about uh, my videos in Athens. Now, I will admit that I have not made a proper tour in Athens in all of my visits here basically because I'm usually here getting ready for a trip or ending a trip and taking care of last minute business or only staying one night as in this case and so I haven't uh, taken the time to make a you know real video of Athens maybe the next time I could be back in Greece relatively soon but uh, for now, then I just thought, you know, I'll give you a little taste of uh, the uh, capital of Greece here, even though it is not the most beautiful scene back in these neighborhoods, but it is interesting. And so I've been in Greece for 25 days. Flew direct to Kos Island for just one night, and then Nisros, Tilos, Kalimnos, Ikaria, and then it was kind of a spontaneous decision to uh, leave Greece just for, you know, a change after having been here for a month, almost, and uh, head for somewhere quite different. I've been to Bulgaria before, spent about like 10 days there. I went to Sofia, Veliko Tarnovo, and Varna. And so I will fly into Sofia once again, but then go to other places. Now as for like where to show... Oh boy, this guy is like... Oh man, that guy just hit the car. We got a uh, pretty old building here and the back streets, I'm pretty kind of turned around now as far as what's the most direct uh, way to get to Monastiraki Square and see the uh, Parthenon, but it doesn't matter too much. I'm heading in the generally right direction. These uh, back streets just keep getting more and more colorful. Look at all this graffiti, street art, whatever you want to call it, kind of uh, a little of both. And so I tend to stay at hotels in that general area over there because that is where a lot of the cheap hotels are. It is also very convenient. There are metro stops and uh, it is a short walk over to Plaka, it is called, here in Athens, the main tourist area with all the uh, main things to see. Wild. Uh, murals, a wolf in sheep's clothing. If sheep 
wore suits and ties. And so I understand now that people went to see other parts of Athens. The thing is, this is the most interesting area. I have walked around Athens a lot on my various visits here, and I am not aware of, like, a part of the city that is especially interesting, more so than the area with all the main attractions. <laughs> and as you can see, things are getting a lot nicer here. Very pleasantly uh, shaded. Lots of restaurants to choose from. We got some more street art. I'll take a quick look at that. See, Heart of Athens. So, this is the Heart of Athens, and uh, having, you know, walked around various other parts of the city, it is all, for the most part, kind of just average, you know, buildings and stuff like that. Man, there's a lot of art back in here. We got Pac-Man. Now, who is that? Greek politician, maybe? And so, uh, I don't know exactly where else to make a video in Athens that would be, like, more interesting other than just, like, walking through random streets. If uh, people have suggestions, then, you know, go for it. Let us know what the uh, parts of Athens are that I should show the next time that uh, are, you know, somewhere outside of the main area here that are especially worth checking out. But uh, much of Athens is kind of the same of regular buildings and businesses and whatnot. <laughs> And so my flight from Ikaria to uh, Athens here yesterday, I booked like three days ago, $90, and my flight to Bulgaria today was $133. I'm not sure if that's going to include luggage or if I will have to pay extra for that. We shall see. I think it might be included. So, uh, good deals. In both cases, about an hour flight. It is not that far away to Bulgaria. So, uh, you can see, you got back in here, great selection of restaurants. Pastizio, that is the one that I showed in a recent video on Ikaria Island. That is a really good Greek dish. Less uh, popular than moussaka. Moussaka is one of my favorites as well. We got some old pictures of Athens. Look at that. 1869. Look at that, the Acropolis and the Parthenon, just like in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't have the buildup of city. I mean, we're right near that. You're gonna see it in the course of this video. Some buildings around there, but uh, not nearly as many as now. Yeah. 
and so lots of shopping as you can see so uh this is a good area to stay in if you're like getting ready for your trip and you need to do some shopping you know maybe you need to uh, buy a swimsuit or swim goggles or a tent sleeping bag if you're planning to camp you know a bicycle when I took my uh, bicycle here in 2009 for my first Greek Islands bike trip I put a bike on the plane now someone asked in a recent comment why didn't I like buy a bike here instead of the hassle of bringing a bicycle over from I was living in Portland, Oregon at the time and uh, the reason is for one thing I already had the bike I didn't want to buy another bike and also kind of miraculous I was not charged anything for putting the bike on the plane it was considered a piece of luggage I was allocated two pieces of luggage and so I had my backpack and the bike in a box all you know partially taken apart and then boxed up and it didn't cost me anything and then I sold the bike before I went back to Oregon at the end of that uh, trip here we go there is the Acropolis and the Parthenon so the Parthenon is the ancient building okay now is that actually the Parthenon or the building in front of it? Maybe it's just a little bit different view. So, the most iconic building of Athens, of Greece, one of the most, you know, famous buildings in Europe, built in the 5th century BC, I believe. Now, when I bought my bicycle in 2016 for that bike trip around the uh, Greek islands then I bought it right down here just like half a block down there there are like thrift stores basically and so I got this uh, great deal 60 euros I believe for a really solid mountain bike and then right there is where I tried to sell it at the end of that trip and I didn't have any luck in that case I won't tell that whole story again <laughs> I realize this is such a repeat for uh, a lot of people, but, you know, it's always a little bit different and not everybody will have seen those videos. So here we have one of the uh, metro stations, Athens Flea Market. Let's get a closer look at the uh, Acropolis. And so the Acropolis is the hill there with various ancient buildings on top of it. And here, of course, another very, very old one. And so I guess we're not getting a direct view of the actual Parthenon itself. I think it is behind the buildings that we're seeing right there, because of course it has the, you know, big columns. <laughs> I think you have to uh, pay to go inside. Well, let's give it a try. I don't see actually anybody checking tickets. Maybe this is free. So the Library of Hadrian, erected in 132 to 134 AD by Emperor Hadrian, follows the Roman Forum architectural style. I guess I do have to pay, but let's go for it. So, six euros. I think I'm not going to uh, go get up on the Acropolis and visit the Parthenon. Been there lots of times. It is a hot, hot day. Today is June 30th. And I actually have limited time before I need to catch the metro out to the airport. But I will walk through the... Uh, thrift or flea market area it said 
I don't think I've shown that area before, and I don't think I've ever actually been inside here either. And so as you saw there, Emperor Hadrian, Roman Emperor. So Roman ruins here. Whereas, of course, the Parthenon up there, Greek before the Roman Empire even existed. So you're looking at two very different eras of history between up there and here. And so we have some mosaics here. They are made with the different colored pebbles so that the color remains. And so here we have the library. You can see the English on the bottom, Greek on the top, and so I think that would read Bibliostasio in Greek there, and so you can see the similarity of the language, Biblio, bibliography, books. More mosaics, and look at that. They look like hearts. I wonder if they're actually representing hearts because they also look like leaves. Looks more like maybe it's representing, you know, a vine. Like maybe a grapevine or something? I don't know. Just a guess there. So, uh, Athens flea market up there, so let's walk through that. And then I will come back here, catch a metro. Ah, nice and cool in here. AC coming out of some of the uh, stores. I don't think I've ever actually walked down this lane here. So much for sale, I mean, this is a good place to do some shopping, even though it is the uh, touristy area, I bet the prices are good actually. Lots of competition. Oh, wow. Short sleeve button t-shirts that I like. That one's pretty cool. So how much is that? 
39 euros, okay, that is not cheap. But that is awesome, it's just maybe a little too colorful. But you can tell they're good quality, like 40 bucks. Those ones are only 20 euros. That is a cool style, man. I like that one. I was tempted to do some shopping there, but I just gotta get going. I wanna get to the airport early, not, uh, not barely on time. The uh, metro trains that go there, I think, leave only every 30 minutes, and so you gotta factor that in. Get back to the main road here. Walk up there. Okay, that is it. Next stop, Bulgaria.